In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and set the settings for displaying either grades or questions and answers for a quiz after the students take the quiz. Okay, so underneath control or course tools, you're going to go into quizzes. Okay, and I'm going to go in and edit one of my quizzes. And you would need to do this for each one of your quizzes. Okay, so I'm going to edit one quiz. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to double check something before I change the default view of my submission view. So in my assessment here, okay, I have that as soon as the students take a quiz, it's automatically going to publish their attempts and it automatically sh uh, updates the grade in the gradebook for them to see. Okay, now having this on is going to make a difference on how the submission views are going to work. If I don't have this on and I'm manually on, you know, grading the um, quizzes and putting in feedback and, um, you know, letting them see the answers and stuff like that. Okay, I want to set this up based on what I want them to see as soon as the grades are published. So in my case, as soon as the students hit submit, their grades are published. Okay. If you're holding back and you're going to grade them yourselves and publish them all at the same time, then the default view is what's going to take place. Okay. So when I go to submission views, okay, right now my default view is to set up and automatically show um, their score. They can see what they've got for the actual quiz, okay? Um, that's just the default, okay? Now, I want to go in and I um, want to keep this as the default setting so that they only get to see their score at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm not changing this, I'm gonna cancel, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna make sure that all my students have taken the quizzes and I want to post the answers to them after the due date. Okay, so I'm going to leave my default view in place and let them see the ant the grade. Okay, at this point, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to add an additional view. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, and I'm going to call this um, after due date. Okay, and I can even put a message in here if I want to, but. What I'm going to do is, um, let's say that the quiz, the students are taking it today and I don't want them to see the answers until Wednesday, just in case I have a student that's late or whatever. So on Wednesday after um, 8 a.m., okay, now some of the things that I can do in here, I can set up um, that they must be using the same computer that they use to, cr to complete the quiz. I can turn that on. I'm not quite sure how many um, people would use something like that. Attempts. Um, my quizzes have two attempts, so I could set it up so that they have to complete both attempts before they can see this, but I don't want to do that in case they get 100 the first time around. Okay. I can also set a minimum or maximum score that they have to get before this will pop up for them. Um, I can limit the amount of time that they get to see this. Okay. So I can say they only get to see this for 30 minutes after I post it. So they would only be able to see it between 8 and 8.30. Okay. Then I get to choose what I want them to see. So I can say, yes, I want them to see the test questions. And then I can choose what I want them to see. So I want them to be able to see um, all questions and their, their responses. Okay. And then I want to show them... Um, the question answer. So this way they can actually see the questions, they can see what they answered, and they can see what the actual answer to the question is. Okay, and um, I'm going to show the score. Okay, now um, I want them to see the score down here. I don't want them to see the class average and the, of course the grade distribution, so I'm not going to turn that on. Okay, but at this point, this is only going to take effect after the, the 28th, after 8 a.m. Okay, and then you just save it. Okay, 
and then I can see the information for it and I'm going to go ahead and I need to save it and close it for this quiz. Okay, you're going to have to go through the same steps to do something different for each one of the quizzes depending on what you want them to see, when you want them to see it, and how much you want them to see. Okay.